Hey you guys, what's up? It's Sarah here. Welcome to my channel. If it's your first time checking it out and you guys do enjoy my planty content, please make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. Welcome back to all my other subscribers. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much for being here again today. I really do appreciate it. Oh no, my husband's, <laughs> my husband's out walking the baby. Let's see what this is. Hello? So I'm really excited about today's collab. I'm doing a collab with Kayla from Kayla's Plants. And if you guys don't know about her channel, please go over there and check it out. I think it's really important in this community that we support each other, all the planty people or any other creators for that matter. And yeah, I just enjoy finding new channels and meeting new planty friends, especially the ones who do YouTube because it's really nice. So I was really excited just chit chatting with her and we started to realize that we were talking about doing some hacks and I said you know what I want to do a video <laughs> would you want to do a collab with me uh, about all our planty hacks so basically what this is going to be is I'm going to show you my hacks over here on my channel and she is going to do the same thing on her channel and a lot of them we do the same things but just use them in a little different way so I think it'll be cool to see and also she has some other check <laughs> checks other hacks over on her channel that you know I don't do or I hadn't seen and all that so if you guys want to see some fun planty hacks please make sure to stay tuned and go ahead and follow Kayla I'm gonna link her video down below so you can just click it right there and go right to her channel and make sure to subscribe and tell her that I sent you all right you guys so I guess let's get into these hacks I hope I got everything I got a bunch of stuff just like sitting right here that I could remember also I'm gonna be looking at my phone because I have like a bunch of notes on my phone that I'm gonna have to like look at to make sure so yeah I'm just gonna go through and show you guys some of my little planty hacks that I do maybe I can share a hack that you haven't done yet so a lot of these hacks are gonna have to do with propagation and the first one up is this little guy right here so I do have this in a wine glass <laughs> This is a wine glass, but what I wanted to show you was I use bread ties. If you see the little gold thing, I'll give you guys some close-ups, but I use bread ties to hold all of my propagations together. I also just save the little ties like this off of a gift, you know, with Christmas here uh, and kids gifts and stuff. A lot of them come with these little ties. I save these and stick them in a drawer and I reuse them. So that's what I do to keep all of the bundle of propagations just together and it's really nice because when you go to pot it up basically what it does is it already creates like a bushy little plant how you want the plant to be and it's just so easy to just pot it right up and it just makes it so simple and so much better so along the lines of water propagation another thing that I do is I use pool noodles just like this I got this one from the dollar store uh, this came off my old dog's kennel, RIP, because uh, we he was blind and we were putting these on the corners everywhere. So this is a leftover from him. So what I do is I just take a knife or scissors and I just cut a ring off of this. So it's just like a floating little ring. And it's basically used to keep your propagations afloat. So you can do it similar to what the bread tie is. So if you have like a bowl, I've propagated some things in a bowl that um, this works really well. So you just take the little ring, put the propagations all in the middle, and then it floats in the bowl and your propagations don't sink in and they don't fall all over the place. It's really, really cool. And I also saved a little piece of foam off of a toy that Dallas got for Christmas. Um, yeah, I think this came on like a swing or something. So you can cut this up and it's the same thing. So the foam will float and it'll keep your propagations afloat, which I think is really cool. And I do definitely use this. Okay, so pool noodles for propagations and bread ties. Along with propagations, we might as well just make this a theme. Also, I save all of my pickle jars whatever any kind of jars and i'll soak them and take the labels off and use these for propagation which is really really good jelly jars also work really good i've seen those little yogurt ones um you know that the glass container is any kind of glass thing i always save it's kind of bad because i've like hoarded up a whole bunch underneath my kitchen sink i really need to clean up my kitchen sink but i have <laughs> so that is another one of my little hacks so this hack right here by far is my absolute favorite one, okay? 
I cannot tell you how life saving this hack is. I use a tension rod or a shower curtain rod, the cheapest one I can find. All the extra ones I have are $10 ones. And I hang it in between the shower. So I hang it across the middle of the shower and I hang all of my plants there and water them. And that way the water just flows right down into the center of the tub. It's not splashing anywhere. I can leave them hanging up in there for a while. So I have this in two bathrooms. I have it on one side of my house <laughs> in my baby's bathroom because I have plants in his room and I water them there. And then I also have it in my mudroom bathroom. And I'm telling you guys, this hack is so life saving. I cannot express to you about how amazing this hack is if you have hanging plants like me. Cause like I said, a huge majority of my plants are hanging. So I feel like I have a lot of like how to hang plant kind of hacks because like I said, the majority of my collection, a lot, a lot of my plants are hanging. And this has been such a lifesaver. I absolutely love it. It's so easy. Everyone can do it. You literally just tighten or loosen a tension rod. You don't have to have somebody hang it for you. And yeah, it's just really, really has saved me so much. And I've loaded the bar up, okay? I've hung a ton of plants on there. And it's perfect because they just drip right down in your tub. Another really good practice if you are going to be watering your plants in your tub from the shower curtain bar, like I said, is to get some of these hair catcher drain, clog drain prevention. I don't know. A hair catcher drain cover, okay? I got this one. I believe I got this one for my grocery store, but I get them from the dollar store all the time. They're a dollar or like a dollar fifty. It's so worth it because there will be perlite and things that come out when you water your plants. And I like them like this so you can lay them like on the flat drain and it still catches it. And sometimes if it builds up, if I've watered a lot of plants, I'll just take a paper towel and wipe up the soil. And that's how I prevent my drains from getting clogged up. So yeah, use one of these for sure. Okay, so another little hack as far as hanging plants is I like to use these shower curtain hooks. These are amazing, okay? You can use them for so many different things, but I just hang them from the rod or the ceiling. I also hang my macrame from these. So what I'll do is I'll just take the little loop and I'll hook it like this. And this is how I hang my macrame and they slide on the rod so nice and easy. I also use a curtain rod. I'll show you guys that um, hook to the ceiling to the joist and that's how I hang a lot of my plants and these slide perfectly on the curtain rod you just have to make sure that they're nice and sturdy so I wanted to show you guys the curtain hooks that you have to use if you're wanting to hang a curtain rod from the ceiling they need to make sure to be a full circle in order to hold the rod from the ceiling you also have to have to have someone who knows what they're doing and can hang it in the joist because you do not want this thing falling down and you definitely have to drill it into a joist don't yeah just trust me um <laughs> so anyways this is the type that i look for like a good strong curtain rod and it has a circle as the bracket so another thing that i do is i use i know kayla do, does this as well i use takeout containers so this right here is actually a soup container a takeout soup container that i have turned upside down and the oh gosh water's gonna come out if i open it right here but uh, it just makes it like a little terrarium and the lid is facing down I just have a little plant in here and it creates a little terrarium and I love it so much so this is perfect I also use all things like this for propagation you can turn it right side up and basically put moss in it and it's like a little terrarium so save your to-go containers another thing that I saved apparently a lot of reuse things from Dallas but Another little container that I saved is his Wubbanub. <laughs> I gotta take this out of there. But it's just a little clear plastic thing that his Passy came in. Um, it's one of those little stuffed animal pacifiers. And I thought this is perfect. It's so cute and it's kind of like sturdy. So I'm just going to get rid of that. And then you basically have like a cute little propagation container. And look, it, you could even hang it. Okay, you could hang it somewhere. How stinking cute is that? I wish I would have saved the other one. He had another one, but I guess we threw it away. I didn't think about it. So any type of old to-go containers are great for propagation in any kind of way. 
Another thing that I do is I thrift a lot of my stuff. So all my pots, you, if you guys have been watching my channel for a while, you know I thrift so many things. But tons of my pots are thrifted. That is definitely a huge hack and saves me so much money. I'm going to also show you this. Let's see if I can get to them. Where are you? Where are you? So this is another little container that I use for propagations. I thrifted. It just happens to have an R. And my husband's name's Ruben, so it just, you know, fit perfect. But these are candy jars. So anytime I go to the thrift store, I always look for glass type jars, candy jars that have a lid because these can be really expensive. I know you can get similar things to this um, at like Hobby Lobby or Michaels and you could, I don't know, are they doing coupons anymore? I don't think they're doing the 40% off anymore. Now Michaels may still, but I don't think Hobby Lobby is. Um, so yeah, if you catch it on sale, then you can get one, but I always check at the thrift stores. I literally bought this thing for like, I think it was like $1.49. So cheap. It, it has some leftover moss in there, but I think this is perfect for little propagation. So make sure you're thrifting for your propagations. So I'm going to show you some other items that I repurpose. So I just saved this, <laughs> by the way, this is the cranberry juice that we drink, this Diet 5. This is the only one we drink. Uh, and my husband, we mix apple cider vinegar with it and I think it tastes really good. But anyway, so I saved this and I love it because it has this plastic handle and I washed it out. And I'm gonna mix up my fertilizer in here. I have a different type of fertilizer that I'm gonna try and you have to like pre-mix it and stuff. So I thought this would be perfect. I've also mixed mosquito bit water in a jug like this as well. So I don't know, I think these are really good and it's better than just tossing it. At least you can reuse it and I love the handle on this. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna use this for my fertilizer to fertilize my plants with. So another little recycled item. I have one more item that I've recycled over here that I'm going to show you guys. I'm using my tongs to grab it, which we're going to talk about the tongs in a minute. But <laughs> this bottle right here was a Windex bottle. I think it was like Target brand. And yeah, I saved the bottle. This was actually left over from my in-laws. We were at their beach house and it, we used it up completely empty. And I was like, this bottle is so perfect. I need this. So I just cleaned it really good and I took the label off of it and this is what I wash my plants with. So I keep rubbing alcohol in here with a little squirt of Dawn um, dish soap and some water and this is how I clean my leaves. And I spray them on there and I treat for pests and I spray them and I wash them or I wipe it. And this bottle is perfect for that. I absolutely love it. Since I already showed you guys the tongs, another thing that I do is I use cooking tongs, which you can get this at the dollar store. Um, I have a plastic pair that I used in my last video. I just, I think they're actually down in my soil box. But I use it specifically for plant stuff. And this is perfect for grabbing cactus when you're going to like repot them. I absolutely love using tongs. Now, I did not come up with this idea. I've seen this before. But it's just really convenient to not get stuck with a bunch of needles. <laughs> and I feel like I can adjust them better and stuff. So if you're ever repotting, make sure to use some tongs. Um, it just saves your fingers. So another little hack thing that I like to do, especially if you have terrariums or for me, I use this for neem oil. What I do is I mix my neem oil in this spray bottle and I mist my plants with it. This is a mister. It's different than just a regular spray bottle and I picked this up at the hair supply place. You guys can get one from Sally's Beauty or online. So anyways, I put my neem oil in this and yeah, it's really good for just misting your plants for pest prevention or if you have propagations. I love this so much more than just a regular squirt bottle. I feel like when you spray a regular squirt bottle, it just like drenches, it just drenches your plants. And especially if you're spraying anything with neem oil, that's like velvety type leaves. I don't like to like soak it. I just like a little mist, you know, and this is really good. So I do think this is worth the money. Um, you know, if you can't recycle a spray bottle, go ahead and get you one of these mister ones. Okay, so now let's talk about the dollar store because there's so many things from the dollar store that I use and I am going to do another little shop with me when they put their spring stuff back out. But two of the items that I really love from the dollar store are these S hooks. The big ones I believe came in a pack of two and I think the little ones came in a pack of four possibly or a pack of three. 
I absolutely love these hooks. I cannot have my plant collection without these hooks. I have animals, now a child. I have a huge amount of my collection hanging. All of the plants that are in my sunroom are all hanging. And when you put a hook in the ceiling, you don't want to hang the plant right directly up to the hook. You want them to drop down to where they can get some sunlight and these s hooks are perfect and i just feel like it makes my sunroom look way more uniform i used to have chains everywhere which of course the chains is a really good thing to use as well and i still use the chains on my plants i just get it from like lowe's you can get some chain cut they have all different types if you look so yeah they have it at lowe's um the chain if you're looking for some you can get some chain cut which i always use but when i found these it is so much easier basically what happens is my problem why i don't like the chain when i go to water i take a plant off the chain it's really hard to get the little chain the little hook of the basket right through the specific hole okay it just it's really hard so with these little s hooks it makes my life so much easier i can easily get it down i don't have to get a ladder out and climb up it just i don't know i love these and they're super strong and sturdy so when springtime comes at the dollar tree um you need to get you some hooks because they sell out really fast i don't know what it is about dollar tree but they'll only put their spring stuff out like one time at least that's what it is for me in my area and once it's gone, that's it. So another way that I use these S hooks is if I have a trailing plant, I do this a lot out on my sunroom. If it's super, super long, I'll just hook the trailing plant <laughs> and then I'll take this up here like that and I'll hook it to the pot and that way it shortens up the trailing plant and my cats don't get it but it's really convenient for watering if you have a lot of long plants so yeah that's another way i just use this little s hook from the dollar store one more thing that i use from the dollar tree are these skewers i got a pack of these skewers and they were a dollar i don't know how many came in a pack but a ton i use these for little plant stakes so if i have a plant that needs some support and i don't have a moss pole or anything like that I just stick this down in the plant and put a little velcro and it fixes the problem you can also cut them in half or break them and they're so cheap like a huge pack of these for a dollar that if they get any water damage like this one i've used it has a little bit of water damage right there but i don't care i'll use it again um you can just pull them out and throw them away so this is another lovely hack that i think works really well and is cheap so all right, you guys, I was able to pick up all of these seeds from the Dollar General. I have more in this bag right here. I got all of these seeds for, I think it was, two, I can't remember if it was three cents or two cents, but for literally two cents a packet, and they were four for a dollar originally priced. There isn't like many, I didn't really get vegetables. It's mainly all flowers, but I'm fine with it. I literally spent nothing. Like, I think. I was buying other stuff too, but the seeds were literally like I spent $2 or something on the seeds, which you cannot beat. So make sure to look at your Dollar General during your off season or when seasons are changing because they discount stuff so much. So yeah, I'm looking forward to doing a butterfly garden basically. Um, my husband did build me two boxes that I tried growing vegetables in. I'm desperately failed so i will have a different spot i want to move those and yeah i think we're going to move those little flower boxes and i'm going to make some butterfly garden this is definitely something like i didn't realize that they did um so i'm going to be looking this season and try to snag up some vegetable seeds and yeah get some deals so keep a lookout for when the seasons change check for all your seeds all right you guys that's gonna do it for all my hacks please make sure to go on over to Kayla's channel and check her channel out and watch her video about all her hacks I can't wait to see you know just how she uses them in a little bit of a different way and the other hacks that I didn't show you here on my channel so make sure to go check out her channel and let her know that I sent you over there and show her some love and support I just really think it's important to share the love in this plant community and I really appreciate all my subscribers. So I know if I enjoy her channel, you guys will too. So go on over there, but that's going to do it for today's video. If you did like this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Let me know. Is there any of these hacks that you learned that was new? If there's any other hacks that you guys do that I haven't thought about yet, because I think it's really fun to read all your comments and I just appreciate your support. So anyways, I will be back at you guys again soon with another video. Bye.
Thank you.